Hey guys, Actual Nose here, and a while ago I made this video called the Top 10 TV Shows of All Time. Uh, I realized how cringy that video was and said thank god barely anyone watched it and took it off the channel. So uh, I still stand by this to the day. Uh, the number one TV show on that list was going to be It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. So I think It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is the best TV show of all time, best comedy of all time, better than Seinfeld, better than Breaking Bad, better than Game of Thrones. I'm kind of saying this to piss you off. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's talk about modern co comedies. Um, when we look at modern comedies, we look at cartoons, and we also look at those shitty, like, ABC or CBS uh, sitcoms. Um, the stupid modern sitcoms don't hold a T to the fucking It's Always Sunny because they're just generic and they're barely even funny. Um, okay, let's look at the cartoons really quickly. Cartoon comedies are good. Archer is fantastic. I think Archer is great, but I just genuinely don't like some characters on that show and there's tropes on that show that I do not like um, but I think it's a fantastic show it's a beautiful uh, I not too many people give the compliment on that how beautiful that show is I think it genuinely the art style for that show is fantastic but we're not here to talk about Archer uh, I think Family Guy has been fucking shit since 10 years ago uh, I think The Simpsons has been shit since 20 years ago um, <laughs> it's always sunny is unique in its storytelling and I think it's unique in its characters Everyone's crazy, but crazier in their own way. Um, you'd think the craziest character is Charlie, but it's not. The craziest character on the show is Dennis, because it's really starting to show nowadays, and I love that character development. At first, he was an egotistical asshole who was so self-centered and whatever that he was only in it for himself. But then slowly through the years, they planted these seeds of, oh, he's having a psychotic outburst. Oh, he's going to the back of his car to go fucking get his quote-unquote tools oh he's freaking out and getting naked at the neighbor as soon as he gets a new house with mac or whatever and it's just like what does this character become he's had like one of the most the best um character developments on the show okay let's talk about the characters uh i think dennis like i said is one of the greatest characters in the show he was started off as a narcissistic asshole who was only in it for himself you know somewhat appreciating the gang for what it is but also kind of hating it um, he slowly become fucking crazy. I fucking love that about the character because, you know, it's just more depth to the character in my opinion. There was one episode where he was, I believe, at a psychiatric hospital talking to a psy uh, psychologist. And he was, and he was, <laughs> he was basically yelling at D, like saying, I'm gonna fucking skin you, fucking kill you. For, and it's like, really? The <laughs> this is what the character thinks about, holy cow. Um... Mac. Mac is a hypocritical character. I, did, I, don't, I don't get him sometimes because like the Christianity and having sex with a tranny thing, it's confusing as fuck. But as long as, as long, I'm not supposed to, under, I don't think I'm supposed to understand the character really because he's really, um, let's say, unique. <laughs> um, but as long as he can give me some laughs sometimes, and he does when he's working off Charlie. And also, point out, Mac used to uh, start the adventures with the gang. You know, he used to introduce the gang to what was going on in the outside world. Now Frank does that. I like Mac introducing the gang to the outside, uh, to the adventures and everything better than Frank. Uh, that's just a personal preference. It used to just, uh, I don't know, I just liked it, okay. D used to be the straight man. D used to be the person who would react off everybody else's craziness and be like, why are you doing this? This is really fucking stupid. And then as soon as Frank came along, she slowly descended into the madness like everybody else is. And, I mean, what else was there to say about D? She gets on my nerves sometimes uh, because of... Her used to being the smart, used to being the smart one, and now she's the one, one of the crazier ones and everything. Uh, one of my favorite D episodes is the uh, $100 baby episode. Uh, I, th I just, everybody was just talking shit about her, and then she got steroids like everybody does and got stronger, and she kicked uh, some ass. Frank is my most irritating character on the fact that he. I don't hate the Frank character. I think he is genuinely alright, and he does give me some laugh out loud moments. Like, there's one episode when the gang gets held hostage, he's up in the vents, and then uh, he's reading Charlie's shit, so he's reacting off Charlie, and I just think, oh yeah, that's something Frank would do. Whereas now, 
Frank is too much like Charlie, and Frank's too much like Dennis, so he thinks something like that would be really normal. And I just kind of like this outsider perspective that Frank used to give, and now it's nothing like that. And yet they still use him to introduce the gang into adventures nowadays. I don't, I don't get that. But uh, I, whatever, who cares? It's it's always sunny in Philadelphia. It's 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 genuinely well written, and I buy it. Charlie Kelly is the best show in the character. Charlie Kelly is the best character in the show. In the first season, he was that weirdo dude. You know, he loved the waitress. He had a sympathetic backstory. He was an abortion survivor. And guess what he is today? He's still those things, but a little bit weirder. Um, he likes denim jackets. Uh, he's a full-on rapist, and uh, you just just love that guy, man. He's just he's so lovable, you know. And frankly, there was an episode where he got the, a girlfriend or whatever, and then he went totally cynical and selfish and dumped her and told her that he was using her. And I was like, is that out of character for Charlie to do? No, because he was doing it for the waitress or whatever to get back at the waitress to make her realize that he was what she needed or whatever I can't exactly remember but I just thought that was I, I just there's just some character moments like that that I really enjoy and stuff like that so guys it's always sunny in Philadelphia my personal opinion best comedy out there what's my favorite episode of it's always sunny um Dave bow bow oh. Day bow bow. Ooh, yeah. Will you settle down and have another cup of coffee? I am, bro. All right, well, fine. You know what, Barney? Give this guy a cigarette. He's freaking out. Barney? Who the hell is Barney? You don't see Barney? Oh, shit. What the hell did he... You've lost your mind. You've lost your goddamn mind, Charlie. My favorite episode is the episode where um, De uh, D Sweet D has a heart attack and also Charlie and Mac... I uh, have to get a post office job. That's my favorite episode. Funny as hell. Season 4. Look for it on DVD. I mean, season 11. Jesus, that show's been on forever. It feels like it just was yesterday I found out about it. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Uh, I'm taking a short break soon. Um, yeah, check out the next video. Uh, if you want to hint at what it is, it is uh, None Your Business, the actual nose episode. Laters.